Today is Friday, the 7th of August. We're fishing East Worthen Beach. What's up going on people? Lovely hot summer's day, nice and calm, flat seas, clear water, and it's one thing, it's lure fishing time. Guys, trying to find a few bass today, back out with the h dry glide, a bit on the surface, so I'm just going to wade out, got waders on, so I'm just going to wade out yep, and try and find some bass, I'll keep you informed guys. Right guys, this is the H-Joy Glide, I think it's 90mm long, you can see it's missing half a treble there, just hope we won't swap it over, but this is my go-to lure, I have so much confidence with it, I've got so many fish with it, and it's probably the best £5 I've ever spent fishing wise, it's caught me so many fish, the sea is so flat today, you could probably spot fish, if there's anything about it, they'll probably jump out of the water, so you literally, you can almost sight fish for them. But weed wise, look how green that is. It's been so weedy recently, big long stringy stuff. It's been unfishable for, well, lure fishing and bait fishing, so that's why I have been out recently. But today we're going to try and change things, see if we can find a couple of fish. There you go, guys. Look at that. Nice bass, probably about two and a half pounds. It's taken the top hook of that lure. Really nice size. We'll get on the hooks and get the release. We'll go, go try and release this bass. But get my phone soaked. Just trying to get some water going for its gills. Come on, you see. Wish I had my GoPro, then I could do some underwater footage. There he goes. What was that? And that's how much I love that HGI Glide. Playing a dodgy game, got my phone out in the water. See how clear it is just above the knees and it's crystal clear dead flat no ripples or anything so you can always sight fish if you see any ripples just cast towards it and um, the last bass I uh, actually, had, actually had a follow uh, cast before so I cast it straight back out again and yeah took it shoved my GoPro because it hit it on the surface pretty hard and um, actually jumped out the water a bit so that was good to see but my GoPro is unfortunately playing up. Looks like a couple of people over there maybe fishing. See Wem Pier right in the distance. But it's been like 30 degrees today, it's been mega hot. So the beaches are going to be really packed um, all this weekend as well because it's forecast to stay the same. So I think evenings are the way forwards, out of the lure rod. You can see all this long stringy weed. This is what's been causing a nightmare to be able to bait fish. It's been washing up as well. It's just, yeah, been tons of it all down Shoreham Way. But I'm hoping to try and find another fish before the sun goes down. The sun's already set. So I've got another 20 minutes or so before it gets really sort of too dark for me to be out in the waders. So I'm going to try and find another fish in the next 20 minutes. I don't know if you can see. But all this kelp is going up right now, it's not going out, it's starting to turn to go back towards the shore. So it goes to show the tide's turning. Haven't had any more fish. I thought I had one more follow earlier. But this is when I find the fish actually switch on. I find the bass like going through all the bottles, picking out all the shrimps and all the little blennies and things like that. 
as the water gets deeper. So I'm going to hold out for a while. I thought it was going to be dark around back now, but still got a little bit of time. Maybe the sun hadn't quite set when I thought it did. So I'm going to carry on fishing into darkness and try and find that big one. Right guys, tide's starting to come in now and it's getting dark. It's been quite slow with the tide moving. It's been quite quiet. I haven't seen any sort of like bait fish tonight. No splashes, nothing so sort of casting a bit blind. I just want the tide just to go in over those rocks so uh, gets no more of this long stringy stuff. I wear the bass like hiding in all this sort of weed for a bit of cover. It's no good for a lure, it sort of snags every cast. But at least that is all stuck to the rocks and it's not um, big long stringy weed. So I'm going to try and hold out before it gets too dark. It's actually quite a bit bright on my phone but can't see anything. I've got my glasses on now so I've taken my glasses off. But yeah, I'm still going to hold out for about five, ten minutes at least just to try and find that big bass. Don't know if you can see what I'm standing on. A bit of sandbank there. Another sandbank there, but you can see it's almost like a little river's mouth going in to flood all the rock pools. And that's where the fish are going to come in first. So your bait fishing, lure fishing, that's the sort of like gullies you want to go for, get us away in. You see these little ripples here, there's a little sand bank there. And then it goes, no waves here, because that's sort of like the river, river sort of mouth, if you were to call it, of this little gully here. So that's where the deeper water is. Just going to get shot on, I think. Hopefully I'll be safe. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to go take a few casts down this gully here and hopefully we'll find something here. There you go guys. Just in that little gully there. About twice the size of a lure. Get it uncooked and I'll chuck it back. There you go. In comparison to my hands. Trying my lure there. It's literally in ankle deep water. It'll be interesting to see if he swims towards the rock pools and back out to the sea hey guys back out to sea let's see if we can find another but like I said just in this little gully here between the sandbank and the other sandbank deeper water and they go into the rock pools to feed off all the shrimps and little things like that Right guys, that's me done now. Pretty dark. The only light I have is on my phone. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Um hope you enjoyed a few little tips I gave you. I'm hoping to be out again tomorrow evening. So yeah, hopefully we can find a bigger bass. I want to try and um, get something close to five pounds I can. But it's wishful thinking. But do you like this video? Get a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching guys.